Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Ronson Hart automatic petrol lighter. This is not exactly the most common of Ronson lighters that you are going to run across, but very cool even in the condition that this one is in. It's a lighter that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a good while. So when this showed up a couple weeks ago in an eBay auction that started at about $10, but with a make offer option, I went ahead and offered 20 bucks and was glad to pay that plus the small amount of shipping that the seller had dictated. You will see right off the bat that there is plenty of wear to the lighter. It maintains a good deal of its paint, but the paint has extensive damage. There are also dents, dings, scuffs, scratches, all that sort of thing. You can see the mechanism there, which I have not had this one apart. I will be making at least one repair video for this simply because I want to disassemble and demonstrate how to do that on this particular model with this particular mechanism simply because it is smaller than most. But you can see while it has worn somewhat uniformly there is plenty of wear to the paint and also to the plating, the general finish. This is a lighter that has been used extensively. Looks like it has been in somebody's pocket, been banged around with other items. And I don't go out purposely looking for lighters that are so well used. I would of course love to be purchasing brand new mint condition lighters that didn't have a scratch or blemish on them but the way that I buy them I come across these type of lighters pretty often and as I said this is not a common Ronson lighter you don't see these this is um, the first one that I've owned and of course it's important to me that all the lighters work but it's also cool on occasion when you run across a lighter that's a little bit more scarce and because of the condition it's in I don't really know what the value of this lighter will be I'm pretty sure I'll make money off of it when I sell it but it doesn't have a great value simply because of so much wear to it which affords me the opportunity to use it that's one thing that I don't know that everybody who collects or fiddles around with or sells, repairs, trades, whatever it is that got you involved with cigarette lighters. There are a lot of folks who put a lot of money into them and in the meantime I don't know how much real enjoyment they get out of their lighters other than simply looking at them on a shelf. There are prominent collectors that show their collections off. One particular, my lighter, on Facebook has a lot of cool lighters. But I've only, out of the hundreds of videos I've seen of very cool old vintage lighters that are sparking, I've only ever seen him light one. Some other folks have lighters so nice that there's no way they would ever pull it off the shelf and put it in their pocket. Here I'm comparing this. I don't even remember now. Somebody corrected me on the Ronson lighter Facebook group page about what this round Ronson I have in my right hand there, what that model was. I don't remember now whether that was a Rondette Jr or Regent Junior or Rondette. The insert on this Ronson heart is marked 
not only with the patent number and all that, but Ronson Rondette. Getting back to collectors and showing off their lighters and what we are able to use and what we are not able to use, I don't mean that necessarily as a criticism to those other guys. I think that they probably just spent so much money in the gathering of the collection or in actually buying the collection. And the lighters are so nice, regardless of what you put into it, regardless of what kind of investment, if you are going to make your money back in spades or whether you way overpaid for it. Regardless, if you've got a perfectly enameled lighter, you're not going to stick it off in your pocket with a bunch of coins. I wouldn't. But because I am a salvage type of operation here at DependableFlame.com, and I'm able to take something like this, put it in my pocket, and use it for a little bit. So that's where I'm at over the last few weeks. You guys know I've taken some time off. And I will be back with the videos on a more regular basis. And also keep an eye out on the website. It's going to be a lot more lighter articles. Articles featuring different vintage cigarette lighters, petrol lighters, how to repair them, different aspects of collecting and all that. But this is a uh, very neat lighter to me. The body of it is pretty big, a lot bigger than I expected, and the insert a lot smaller. I have not pulled them out to compare as of yet. I thought I would save that for a true comparison video with that Ron Dett or Regent Jr., whichever one that is. So keep an eye out for that in the days or weeks to come. But all in all, I'm very happy to purchase this lighter for a pretty small amount for such a scarce example of a Ronson automatic lighter. Same basic mechanism, I believe, as the Jim and the Princess. Could be wrong. I'm not an expert on Ronson lighters. I'm not really an expert on anything other than petrol lighters in general and the function of them, the repair, maintenance, all that sort of information. So while there are some awesome collections out there, I don't even really have a collection compared to most of these guys that have been around the hobby for so long. Guys like Larry Leiter and Eldon Baldwin. Rob Giaretta, Ira Pelosoff, Volker Putz. There's some really great. Christian Wenger. I can't even remember all the names, all the websites I've seen over the last several years. And I would love for all of those guys to come over here and share with us. But you know what? If they did, they still wouldn't be giving you the same level of function with every lighter that I'm able to with these old salvage jobs. Really cool old lighter that I'm glad to make acquaintance with. Until next time.